Software engineering is a skill set that gives you the power to do a lot of things but with so many languages and frameworks and the different ways you can get into the industry, where do you actually begin? Well before diving into learning tools and ways to get into the industry, we need to take a step back and see what is it that you really want to do. This could be thinking about the route you want to take, for example going to university for 3 to 4 years or going to a boot camp which could cost around $10,000. If you take this route, the structure is already in place. So after the first hurdle, you just follow the course the university or the boot camp has. However, what if you're self-taught and learning everything yourself? What do you do and what should you learn? Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Hamad. I'm a software engineer based in the UK and on this channel, we explore tech and code. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and follow the journey. Today, I'll be talking about what you should learn if you want to become a software engineer. So let's get into the video. Firstly, we need to look at what you want to do. Programming is a huge area and you can divide it into a lot of different fields. So you need to find out if you want to do web development, this could be front end, back end or full stack, application development, so iOS or Android development. These are just a couple of examples, but have a research for different areas of software engineering and see what you want to do. Now, if you choose one area, it doesn't mean you can't dive into another area. This is far from the truth. If you learn web development, you can easily transfer your skills into learning app development. For example, learning JavaScript and React for web, and then you can go into learning React Native for app development. So explore the areas which you want to work in because there will be a suggestion of different languages and tools to learn for that area. Which brings me nicely on to my second step, which is see what language is used in the field. Now there could be more than one. Different areas have certain languages but some have multiple languages that can be used. For example, to make an app for an iPhone, you can use Swift. And then for Android apps, you can use Kotlin. However, you can use React Native to develop apps for both Android and iOS. So research what languages you need to learn. Once you've got a list together of the different languages you can learn, have a look at job adverts and Stack Overflow developer surveys. This will dictate what you should learn. Just as an example, for web development, the top three frameworks are React, Vue and Angular. But if you look at job adverts and Stack Overflow, you'll be able to get a better idea to what's in demand and then you can start learning that. In this example, you'll see that React has been dominating for a number of years. Look into tools and ways of learning the language. This could be how to use GitHub or learning web development on free code camp. Now, I have already done a video on learning to code for free. So if you click here and watch that, you'll find a ton of free resources out there that you can use. So definitely worth a watch if you're interested in learning to code. But when you're learning a language, make sure to show your work. This could be on GitHub, LinkedIn, blogs, even Instagram, because if you look at the dev community, it's a huge community on Instagram nowadays. What this will do is build your presence and will help massively when you're applying for jobs because employees will be able to see your work. Finally, learn the language. Thinking about getting into tech is great, but start writing some code, building projects, and getting stuck in. And that brings me nicely on to the end of the video. So hope you liked the video. If you did, you know what to do. So on that note, I'll see you in the next one.